Hey everybody, D here at Daily Gaming, back with more Monster Hunter World, and in this episode we are going to try and get the Grimlikins from the Rotten Vale. Uh, this is something that is a bit RNG. Uh, it's not hard to do, but it's kind of just waiting. Um, the Grimlikins in this area are hungry and they want to eat. So before you can do anything, you need to bring some raw meat with you. Uh, you don't need much, just one piece. I mean, I suggest bringing more because... Uh, in case you hit the wrong button and you don't put it down on the ground. Oops, I put mine away by accident. I need to grab it. But uh, the biggest issue is that it's based on Odegaron. Odegaron has to get meat and carry it around through the area, and when he does that, it triggers the Grimlikins appearing. Well, whether Odegaron does that or not is just the luck. <laughs> Like, you can't, I think you can fight him, and then if he gets, if his stamina gets low and he gets hungry, he'll run away and try and eat something. Uh, but, I mean, for the most part, it's just luck. You can just go around and hang out and wait for it to happen. I mean, uh, there's times where I've jumped in, and I was actually really confused, because a lot of times when I jump in, I just find them really easy. They're right next to the central camp, I believe this one's called. Yeah, Central Camp. They're right down around this area, and normally I just run into them by accident once I get into the mission. So, like, I've actually been I actually started recording this, was running around for almost a half an hour, like, I can't find them. What is going on? And I had to look it up, and I forgot about the Odegaron part. It's just, just complete luck. So, I'm going to kind of wander around, and then once I find them, I'll find them. Uh, but like I said, yeah, you just got to wait for Odegaron to grab some food and to carry it around and it triggers them to appear. Uh, but once they do appear, the rest of it's easy. You just need to get some raw meat and drop it on the ground in their nest, and they'll befriend you. So I'm going to cut out, and I'll cut back in once we actually find them. Oh, I'm in luck. And I cut the video. All right, so real quick. So the reason you want to start at Central Camp, I recommend it, is because it puts you right next to the Odegaron nest, and that's where you find the Grimlikin. So before I ran off running around looking for Odegaron to see if he was grabbing meat or not, I was like, I'll go ahead and check in back here. And you can tell if they're there or not because of the green icon. Uh, also, there's going to be a Legiana body. So at one point when I was when I gave up, when I, when I left this area and started running around trying to find him, Odegaron must have brought, some, brought the body back, and there he is. So once it happens, once they come back, you see, you walk up and you scare him when he runs away. And once he runs away, it's really easy. <clears throat> Just harvest these real quick. Because I got a lot of grinding I need to do. Alright. You go back out of the nest and you just turn right. Obviously, follow your scout flies. And this is a cool little area. It's got a lot of uh, gathering points. Um, honey, bitter bugs, thunder bugs, uh, bone piles, mining outcrops. It's a good area to hit if you're mining resources. <clears throat> All right, so you can see, there he is. <clears throat> when you walk up, he gets scared and he runs away. And he just kind of sits up there. So, got to go to your item pouch. Go to the raw meat you found. Not discard. Is it, Oh, no, you do it from your item. No, wait, do you do it from your item bar? Yeah, you do it from your item bar. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you just drop it and you run away. And I normally come up here and just harvest this. Usually by the time I'm done, he should be on the move again. Oh. He's calling his friends. Takes longer than I thought. There it goes. There we go. Now that they're all dancing around eating, we can go up. There it goes. <laughs> it took a second to uh, 
activate this or yeah to trigger the cutscene. Oh, I haven't seen you guys you before. Oh, your friends? What? Well, here you go. Thanks for the food. Let's roll together. And you get the plunder blade. The plunder blade is a pretty cool weapon. Uh, it's really, really good for farming. Uh, so, of course, after you become friends with them, first thing you got to do is head back to camp, talk to your uh, palico, because then it'll trigger the action. Then it'll actually trigger the, the tail raid rider. And for this area, you get the the uh, gyros. And normally, I, I pretty much only use the, uh, uh, the orchestra, choral or orchestra. But I'm gonna show off the plunder blade because the plunder blade is really nice for farming uh, money. Uh, the only thing is, is you gotta, you gotta be kind of quick about it, because uh, what the plunder blade does is your falco will attack with that plunder blade, and it makes the enemy drop extra materials. Those materials can only be you can only be sold, but some of those materials are worth a good bit. So if you really need money, you go out on an investigation, use a voucher, use the plunder blade, and then make sure it's against an enemy you don't need the resources on, and you sell all the resources, and you can easily get uh, forty grand off of one investigation. A uh, high rank investigation, not not like, not like a low rank. In master rank, it, some of the investigations give you forty grand, so it's easy to get like eighty grand or ninety or a hundred thousand. Like it's it's really easy. And of course, the uh, as the palco gadget increases, it just becomes more efficient. So, all right. So back here at camp, or I'm still at camp. Uh, I wanted to show off the plunder blade against the Odegaron. Uh, because I need to farm the Odegaron. Uh, but I was really, really doing bad. Really, really bad against them. I almost got carded twice. I spent a good part of the fight running away healing. And then Odegaron just dipped. Like, just dipped out on me. <laughs> so, and, and during the whole time, my Palico didn't use the Plunder Blade once. Which was the most frustrating thing. Because... That's the main, that was the main reason for going out to show off everything. So, yeah, just going to cut all that out, and but then just leave it as this is how you get the Plunder Blade. <laughs> this, this recording has not been going smoothly. I've been mean, having all sorts of problems with it. It's boy, oh boy. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you found it useful. This discombobulated mess, this train wreck, was useful. <laughs> Oh, hell. I'll see you next time.